So when the Lord asked Ezekiel, and Ezekiel said, Lord, you know, then the Lord turned to Ezekiel and said, prophesy to them. So the solution to dryness is the prophetic. If you prophesy to them, they can get a job. If you prophesy, they can get married. If you prophesy, they can build houses. He says, son of man, prophesy to them. The only way we can handle this problem is by prophecy. Son of man, stop preaching to the prophesy. Son of man, stop praying for the prophesy. Son of man, stop telling them to come and prophesy. And the Bible says, tell them hear the word of the Lord. So when God begins to change your story, he causes you to begin to pay attention to his word. The Bible says, in the beginning was the word. The word is older than your problem. The word came before your problem. The word came before your family. The word came before the carryover. The word came before the disappointment. The word came before unemployment. In the beginning was the word. If you can get back to the word of God, it is the beginning of the prophecy you desire. God can fix everything in your life. In Hebrews chapter 11 verse 3, the Bible says by faith, we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of God. The word can frame your world. The word can frame your family. The word can frame your children. I, it can fix that challenge. What you need is the word of God. The word is all you need to have your problem fixed. So in prophecy, you first listen to the word of God before listening to the message coming from the prophet. You must receive the word first. And then the word will go ahead to produce every other detail in your life. I prophesy the word you need is coming to you today. What is it? Is it Chinedu? Who is that? My elder brother is late. We are planning for his burial. Where is he now? He's still in the mortuary. I'm seeing the letter U as well. Uju. Uju. Yes, that's Who is the Uju? wife of that my late brother. Celebrate so somebody. Are you connected to Kalaba? Yes, I'm married to Akwa Ibom guy. Celebrate okay. Jesus. Because I was seeing Udong Ubok. Yes, that's their name. Their name is what? Their family name, Udong Ubok. Come on, celebrate Jesus. This one, if I don't pray, before they bury the person, because they are planning for August. Yes. For August. For August 1st. Yeah. If I don't pray, another person will escort him, will accompany him. Aye. There is a witch sitting over the family, trying to destroy people in the family. Why am I seeing pharmacy, chemists? I'm, yes, I'm a nurse. I'm, I have a pharmacist. Come on, celebrate Jesus. They will not kill you also. What happened to her happened to you? Yes, sir. Your husband died. His name is Emmanuel. He's dead. His name is Chinedu. Ah, ah. I'm married to an Brahman. She's married to a Bible man. You see the similarity? My father, for the first one you are prophesying to, she's actually from Anambra and is married to an Akwaibo man. <laughs> and for this second lady, she's from no, Akwaibo, married, married to, to an Anambra man. Ene. My name is Nene. Come Nene. and celebrate Jesus. The Lord said I should give you a sign. I hear them. Enang. 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 Enang means four. Four? So. What is the meaning of queen to you? I have four boys. Four boys. Celebrate Jesus, somebody. Please stretch for your hands towards them. Prophesy long life. I saw myself moving between Hong. Yes. We are killed by, by tribes, sir. God is fixing your case. Amen. I've seen Abuja. My husband is working in Abuja presently. When they made the contacts with the headquarters in Ibadan, they called her and said, we are giving you another five months contract. To the glory of God, celebrate Jesus for that favor. And my father, he has also returned to testify that that left, left eye that was having cloudy vision is now completely clear. He can see clearly with the eye to the glory of God. The father himself called and said, I want this oxygen taken out of my face because he could breathe normally and he was restored to life to the glory of God. My father, to the glory of God, chest pain is nowhere to be found. 
coffin is nowhere to be found my father heaviness of body headache and bad dreams disappeared completely to the glory of god i speak into your family god is decorating the family god who put flesh on dry bones is giving beauty to your family is giving prosperity to your family is giving honor to your family he's giving relevance to your family receive in the name of jesus receive